Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to get into safety with upper neck injections and cervical injections in general. So I've been doing cervical injections under CRM fluoroscopic guidance with contrast confirmation for a very long time, and I've taught fellows, residents, courses, etc. Now, a video was posted to social media, and the poster believed that it showed that this particular prolotherapist was doing things from a very safe standpoint in the cervical spine. Now, as an expert in that area, the poster wasn't an expert in that area. I looked at it and had the opposite conclusion. And I want to go into why this is all very concerning. So the first thing we're going to see here is uh, over here. And it shows a cervical injection being done with a mini C. A mini C is a little tiny C arm that's used to sometimes inject knees or ankles, but it's not designed to inject the neck. Now the, uh, the doctor using it believes that it reduces radiation exposure. And you can see here that this study showed that's not the case. That doesn't even make any sense. You still need the same amount of radiation to get through the tissue. Having a mini C doesn't reduce that radiation at all. Um, but really the big problem with a mini C is, is you can't use it in multiple planes. That's why you have a large C arm. Large C arm looks like this. This is what a mini C looks like. Um, the problem with a mini C is that you've got it set up lateral here, but you can't then change it to AP, meaning coming from the front back, or you can't do an oblique. And all of that's needed because there are times that you need to see the 3D position of your needle. That one plane looks good, but you switch to the other plane and there's a significant issue or problem. The second thing that's shown in this video that's super concerning to me is this technique right here. This technique right here is basically taking a very large, looks like 22 gauge needle, maybe a three and a half inch 22 gauge needle, and just stabbing it down into the neck. Now, these are the points that are trying to be hit here uh, there are points along the bone. It's not a facet injection technique. There's no facets being injected. You're just peppering the bone. And that's a standard prolotherapy technique, and it can be very helpful at times. But doing it this way is something that I would advise our fellows against for sure, because the problem is that if you miss your bony target uh, towards the midline, you're going into the spinal canal, and you've got really no way to know that you might have tweaked the spinal cord because you're only having to go maybe a centimeter deeper, um, and that's a long needle. Or if you go too far laterally, you can hit the uh, vertebral artery running along the side, or you could also hit an exiting nerve root. So again, this blind approach here where you're just stabbing the needle into the neck is not appropriate for, for 2025, uh, hasn't been appropriate for quite some time, since uh, imaging guidance techniques were developed. So again, uh, while this video was shown as some sort of proof positive that, that these, these were safe techniques, it's quite the opposite. So please stay safe out there uh, and have a great day. Thank you.